This is a Game Caviar production. What is this? What is this? What am I playing? What am I playing? What am I playing? What is this? Look at this. Zombies in COD 4. Zombies in COD 4. No, your eyes are not deceiving you, and I'm not playing some sort of weird trick on you. This is real. This is real deal Holyfield, bruh. Anyway, this is COD 4 on PC. What happens on PC in COD 4 is that people made absolutely amazing mods for this game. These mods are legal, I guess. I don't know. They're damn well showing off popular. What's good about it is that when you start up COD 4 on your PC, when you start it up, you go to pick a server. When you pick a server, it's a whole list of things, and you can adjust it, adjust the list to whatever you want it to do. I adjusted the list so I could see, so I could get to the lobbies with the most players in it. Somehow I ended up in the lobby with just one other guy, which is, it must be a glitch. But anyway, if you have, if you enter into a lobby that doesn't have, you don't have the level of the mod downloaded, it automatically downloads it for you. I haven't had a problem with that so far, and I've been able to play this mod as well as a great Star Wars mod that actually completely turns the whole game and gives it this nice Star Wars theme. This right here was really fun. We got kind of screwed at the end because I, I didn't have a use, I didn't have a key, a button, a specific button that was uh, dedicated to the use function. So I couldn't revive this guy and I felt like a dick after at the end because, you know, I was trying to do it and I couldn't and we ran out of time. But this is fun. And if you have COD 4 on your computer, I would definitely try it out if you haven't already. Uh, this is something that's not new. Of course, it's not new. This COD 4 has been out for a while, but I didn't have COD 4 on a computer. I, I just have Modern Warfare 3 and um, what is it? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Yeah, I just have Modern Warfare 3 on a computer. So I don't know if these mods are for all Call of Duty games or is it just for the older games? I'm fine if it's just for Call of Duty 4 because we all know that Call of Duty, Call of Duty 4 is the best Call of Duty ever created, hands down. And I felt so bad right here because this guy is, is like, uh, he wants me to revive him. And I, and I honestly, honest to God, I wanted to. You see here, I went to my controls and I couldn't figure out exactly how to do it. So we both ended up dying, but I, I, I figured it out and I got everything squared away. See what happens when, with me, I don't use the keyboard. I have a, a, a like a standalone keypad that has a few sets of keys on it and a little uh, directional pad. It's strictly for gaming. But what happens when I play these new games, I have to, what's, what's called bind the keys to specific actions in the game and I overlook the use function. So I got that squared away and everything seems to be working out fine. This is something that I'm definitely going to do. Uh, my last video, I was talking about Skype. Add me on Skype, not having it. And what I was going to do is, when I get on the computer to do a video, I log into Skype. While I'm logged into Skype, you can call me. And if I pick up, we can have a conversation that will get recorded. And it will be featured in the video. But like this video. And um, check these mods out, man. I'm not having it. And I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.